Definitely theater um, is uh, an art form which I think many uh, musicians would relate to as, as an art form which is very inspiring and, and especially very relevant to us. My name is Einav Yarden. I was born in Tel Aviv, Israel. Well, the thing I liked to do most as a child on the piano was to improvise. So after the first lesson, uh, what I prepared for the next lesson was an improvisation on uh, a fairy tale, which I really loved, a uh, Red Riding Hood. So, and then the improvisation kind of uh, became actually my uh, favorite thing in the next few years. The last concert or two before the pandemic were with piano recitals um, just outside of Berlin. Um, but the concert that I uh, maybe more, the concerts that I hold more in my heart, which happened uh, shortly before that, were uh, with uh, uh, Kirill Zlotnikov and Alexander Pavlovsky, the cellist and the first violinist of the Jerusalem String Quartet, one of the finest quartets in the world. And um, we uh, played a very program of duos and trios um, in uh, three major, major venues in Israel, in Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and Haifa. And uh, that was just a um, yeah, wonderful experience to play with these uh, brilliant musicians, really. Uh, definitely theater um, is uh, an art form which I think many uh, musicians would relate to as, as an art form which is very inspiring and, and especially um, uh, very relevant to us um, because it's, it, it has so many, uh, uh, so many parallels to the art form of musical interpretation as opposed to musical composition, for example. Um, so as, a, as an interpreter, one thinks about um, theater all the time. It's just like a second nature in a way thinking about it. But in terms of art form that really inspires me specifically, I would say, um, um, I would say jazz does. Um, of course, it's not a different art form because it's 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 musical art form, but jazz is also still very different uh, than classical music in many ways. And I guess one of the things that, uh, well, some of the things that fa fascinate me about it or uh, inspire me are first of all the sound world and the sheer harmonic language and and the sonorities of it, um, which are. Uh, needless to say, very, very wide ranging and varied because jazz is a, is a whole uh, uh, world um, by itself, but also the um, incredible combination between um, what is planned and what is free and improvised and um, spontaneous. So it's constantly, there's a constant interplay between the two. So one of my favorite activities when I was living in New York was to go to jazz clubs and listen to live live jazz, live good jazz. Uh, there are a few places which made a special imprint on me. And one of them is uh, a place called White Sands National Park in the southern part of New Mexico state. In, in this place, um, uh, there is a very special uh, set of geological conditions which allow um, this uh, uh, crystal called gypsum crystal to formulate into sand and, um, and, and stay there, so not dissolve. Unlike quartz sand, which is the sand we, we typically know from beaches and, and places, which is also usually uh, yellow or light brown in color. In, in White Sands Na National Park, you have this dunes and dunes and dunes over a huge region of white sand. And of course, the first uh, uh, thing it evokes is, is uh, snow, but it is not snow. So it kind of rolls through your fingers like sand does, and it gets uh, reformed and rearranged by the wind constantly like by the minute well it's just a it's just a really really very unique place because it's it just looks uh, completely otherworldly and and in a way a bit surreal and i think also there were a lot of uh, movies and uh, science fiction movies filmed there if i'm not mistaken 
it's not exactly an advice because it wasn't given uh, to me in person or specifically to me, but uh, it's rather a saying. It was formulated by uh, a person called Reinhold Niebuhr, who was an American ethicist and reformed theologian. And I think the, the original sources go back to, to ancient times, but, um, but he f formulated it and it's, um, it expresses the wish to have the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change those that I can, and the um, wisdom to tell the difference between the two.